Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 of this 3 part aim series and today we're going to talk about how you can find your sensitivity without using a calculator like one from my previous videos. Today we're gonna go with a less mathematical but more practical approach. Side note, I actually finished the whole script of this video before realizing that this whole tutorial can be based from Pat's recommendation on this video about sensitivity. What I recommend doing is pick two weapons and do recoil training with them on targets very far away in the training room. One of those weapons should be low recoil, and the other one can have a much higher kick. You're gonna hear this a lot today, so let me tell you that the keyword for today is effortless. But first, let me tell you what led me to making this video. Going into Season 6, a lot of things changed for me and COD Mobile. I decided to retire my trusty iPhone 8 Plus and get the Red Magic 6 as my gaming phone. As some of you may know from my gaming phone's video, the Red Magic is more sensitive in terms of touch sample rate, going from 60Hz on the iPhone 8 Plus to 360Hz on the Red Magic 6. For COD Mobile, the max FOV went from 75 to 90. These factors messed up my sensitivity and I noticed that I can't get consistent gameplay. Using 80 to 90 FOV, I tried using the calculator from my sensitivity video, but it only messed up my aim because of these problems. I get flashes of good aim but very inconsistent and I find myself putting much more effort in swiping. I can't track properly close range while hip firing and even when ADS'd. And lastly, inconsistent aim across all scopes. I solved this by comparing my current sensitivities from pro players like Nutella and iPow, who are very both versatile in their gameplay. That made me realize that the sensitivity I was using was too low for me. If you're having these problems as well, here are the solutions you can try to find the right sensitivity. If you're still rocking around 50 to 65 FOV, my old guide for sensitivity with calculator should be useful for you. If you don't find it helpful, come back and follow the methods I'm going to give you. Clearly, my old guide didn't work for me as I currently use AT FOV. Like I said, this is a more practical approach and it will take a lot of trial and error, but I believe it'll be worth it if it helps you find your perfect sensitivity. First things first, I need you to prepare some things. One, your favorite shotgun build. Just, just trust me on this one. Two, a close range gun with some kick to it, and for relevance sake, use the MX-9 or the Fennec here. Third, a gun that you use for medium to long range with a considerable amount of recoil. I suggest you use your favorite Holger build, or you can use assault rifles such as the KN-44 and the Man of War. Try to avoid guns that don't take much effort to control its recoil. Again, use your favorite build so these sensitivities you find will translate to your performance in-game. This is how I found my camera sensitivity. Pull out your favorite shotgun build that we talked about and enter a hardpoint shipment pub match. Focus on finding that effortless zone where you are reactive enough to flick onto a target when you see enemies and controlled enough to hit your shots consistently. Not only that, combine movement while aiming with your shotgun and using hip fire. This should give you your camera sensitivity that will allow you to center to your targets before you aim down sight. After one game, assess your performance with the shotgun and adjust by increments of 3 or 5 if you feel you struggle with snapping onto targets with your camera sensitivity. Remember our keyword, effortless. Swiping your fingers across the screen should be effortless but controlled for higher accuracy. In finding your ADS sensitivity, here's an exercise you can do to find the right one for you. First, equip number 2 or your favorite SMG build that you use from close to medium range. Face the target on your right side just beside the dummy and toggle 10 meters. What we're gonna do is control our recoil repeatedly but making sure that our firing sensitivity is high enough for us to have effortless recoil control. You don't want to have your finger all scrunched up going out of your screen while you're spraying your gun at the enemy. Adjust your sensitivity to the point that you can control your recoil until you empty your mag. For medium to long range, equip number 3 and toggle 30 meters on the target. From there, ADS and begin firing your gun. Again, control your recoil and find that sweet spot where you do this effortlessly. If you're using an LMG with 100 bullets, base your performance with firing 50 bullets. If you're spraying 100 rounds straight and you still haven't taken down your target, you might need to delete your Cold Mobile app. Kidding aside, having done both exercises, try to find the healthy middle in terms of sensitivity where you can control both close to mid and mid to long ranges. However, you're welcome to compromise and prioritize a certain range if you like playing aggressive or passive if you want to be more reactive or more accurate. 
for tactical scope, 3x scope, and 4x scope. Apply the respective scopes and repeat exercises 2 and 3 to find your sensitivities for each scope. Remember that tactical scope has 1.5 times zoom, while 3x and 4x scopes have 3 times and 4 times zoom, respectively. Meaning you see less and targets appear larger, so you're generally going to get a lower value than your ADS sensitivity that you just got from exercises 2 and 3. To find your sensitivities for 6x and sniper scopes, first you have to do a hard scope test. Go to the left side of the practice range and hit all four targets consecutively without scoping out. Transfer your crosshair from one target to another, and again like the previous exercises, finding the sensitivity that's comfortable and will make your hard scopes effortless. To challenge yourself more, you can include the long range targets located right in the middle of the practice range. Make sure you can transfer your aim effortlessly because this will help you gather info in the map without scoping out all of the time. Next one's a quick scope test. Perform quick scopes on the targets in front of you and the one that are far from you, making sure that you reach the middle where your sensitivity is low enough that it doesn't affect your aim when you quick scope and high enough for you to do drag scoping for correction in case you aren't lined up perfectly. For more explanation about drag scoping, you can check out my sniper tutorials link down below. Having done those exercises, you should be able to have a feel for the sensitivity that's unique to you. There is no set time for each exercise and you're free to do them until you get the right effortless sensitivity value for you. I'm a big believer of speed acceleration and I have been using it long enough to be able to control my swipes and do 180 degree turns when needed. Aim assist also helps for easier flicks even when speed excel is present. With limited space to swipe on our phones, this helps us achieve effortless aim if we manage to master the feel of this acceleration setting. Distance excel however is tricky because your sensitivity is affected by how far your target is which I find very inconsistent for me. So with that, I went from this to this. I went from a low-ish sensitivity to a now medium sensitivity after focusing on my mechanics rather than using a calculator to find my sensitivity. Now I feel more comfortable playing the game while being able to control recoil and snap onto enemies effortlessly. That's it for today's video on finding your sensitivity for COD Mobile. Did this actually help you? Make sure you leave a like and share this to your friend who's got messed up sensitivity. I actually have the third video lined up, but I'd like to know if you want the S7 loadouts first or the snapping tutorial. Comment loadouts or snap down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.